For 20 years, a man thought his mother's killer would never be found. His thoughts have now changed. The Johnson County Sheriff's Office arrested Stephen Klein in Muscatine yesterday. He's been charged with killing Susan Kirsten in 1995. She was 38 at the time. KWL's Justin Andrews spoke to Kirsten's son after the suspect was in court for the very first time. And uh, Justin joins us now live from Iowa City. Yeah, Jerry, and he made that appearance here at the jail in Johnson County. Klein appeared to show no signs of emotion, but that's quite a different story for Jason Kirsten. He says it's been a long 20 years, and now with this arrest, a sign of relief. Life is good. I, uh, I appreciate every moment I have, and I thank God for every day. Life seems to be good now for Jason Kirsten. I was, I was 17. But it's been a rough, painful 20 years. 20 years wanting the answer, who killed his mother? It was September 1995 when investigators say 38-year-old Susan Kirsten was beaten severely. Her body was then placed inside a car. Her alleged killer then staged an accident before setting the car on fire with Kirsten's body inside. It was a lot of confusion. It wasn't... Um, it was hard to put that together in my mind, like, uh, just trying to figure out why somebody would do that. And two decades later... They really wanted to have some closure to this case. This man arrested and charged, 54-year-old Stephen Klein in this brutal cold case killing. I used to wait by the phone a lot, and, you know, you're just, just try to remain in that little bubble of hope that something's going to go forward. Really narrowed the focus and um, made it clear that all of the evidence that we had we really could put together and the only person it could point to was Stephen Klein. Klein, the man investigators say was Kirsten's ex-boyfriend and according to the Iowa Cold Cases website her death came just three weeks before a child support hearing for their one-year-old twin daughters. In a case Jason says he never gave up on. Now yielding an arrest giving this son now a father of his own twin girls, some type of closure. Yeah, I feel a lot better about there being somebody arrested. It's, it's a big relief off my shoulders. I can say that's my mom. Now, Jerry Jason says he was never going to stop fighting in finding his mother's killer. The suspect, Klein, he's now sitting behind bars right here at the Johnson County Jail on a $1 million cash-only bond. We've got you covered live at the Johnson County Jail tonight. I'm Justin Andrews, KWWL News. Okay, thank you very much, Justin.